Hi friends, welcome to Auntie Tay's YouTube channel. Now you may have noticed, I am not Auntie Tay. My name is Haley and I am the Canadian crafter behind the foiled plan here on YouTube. I do lots of fun crafting over on my channel. My style of teaching is keeping things nice and slow and easy for beginners. So we do all different types of things over there. If you wanna check out my channel, it'll be linked in the description box below. But make sure you are subscribed to Auntie Tay's channel before you head over there and say hello to a little old me. Now that we have that out of the way and you know who I am, why the heck am I here? Well, I am here to share a series all about one of my all-time favorite crafting mediums and that is foiling. We're diving into the first of five episodes in this foiling series and we're going to be learning all about reactive foiling. I'm going to share everything you need to know about foiling to make your next project shine. Today we're going to start with the basics. You'll learn what foiling is, supplies you need to get started, and exactly how it works. Later on in this series I will go over a project from start to finish, I'll share some troubleshooting techniques, alternative ways to foil, and I've got some awesome gift inspiration ideas for you guys to use foiling in your next projects. We've got lots to go through so let's get right into the first video of our foiling 101 series. So so what exactly is foiling? Well, in the most basic of terms, it's a way to add shine and reflection to your project. Now there are a couple basic things that you need to get started in foiling. Sometimes you can branch out from these things to foil in different ways, but we're going to keep it simple today. The four basic things you need to get started in foiling are a printer, a heat source, cardstock, and of course your foil. Now it's a little bit more complicated than that, so let's go a little deeper into each of those things. The printer you're going to want to use is a laser printer. So laser printers use toner, not ink, and that's what you need for foiling to work. If you use an inkjet printer, this will not work. And monochromatic laser printers are the best for foiling. So if there's one thing that you take away from this video, it's that you must have a laser printer to do foiling. Next you'll need a heat source. I do recommend the Mink Machine. I have the largest of the two sizes and I purchased this used back in 2016 and it's still going strong. I love it. Now if this is not quite in your budget, especially when you're just starting out or if you're not sure if you're really going to love foiling, you can get into it by purchasing a laminator. Now, uh, a lot of foiling artists will use the Amazon Basics laminator. Just keep in mind though that if you are using a laminator, a lot of those don't have heat setting adjustments. As we get further into this series, some of the troubleshooting techniques that I'll go over are specific to this mink machine. So you may just have to do some things that are a little bit different. Moving on, you're going to need cardstock. And when it comes to foiling, the smoother the cardstock the better the foiling result. Textured papers don't really work the best for this type of foiling. So I typically use the Reflections brand paper packs from Michaels and I find that cardstock is nice and smooth so I usually get a pretty even application when foiling. Lastly, you will need foil. Not just any old foil though, so don't go grabbing your aluminum foil from your kitchen for this. It won't work. You can get the correct type of foil that you need for reactive foiling at some craft stores, you can get it on Amazon, and you can even purchase it on Shop Auntie Tay. She has the deco foil on shopantitay.com. If you do end up purchasing the deco foil from shopantitay.com and you'd like to save, use my code the foiled plan for a percentage off at check out and just know I do earn a small commission from that when you use my code so thank you very much in advance but no pressure. Alright so we've touched on what foiling is and the supplies you need to get started. Let's get into how foiling works. I totally nerd out for this kind of stuff so I'm gonna get right into the nitty-gritty details. So first you print your all black design on your smooth cardstock using your monochromatic laser printer. Then you're going to heat up your mink machine or whatever machine you choose to use. You'll take your printed design and lay a sheet of reactive foil on top with the color of the foil facing upwards. 
Then you'll feed it into the machine opening and it'll slowly pass through. The heat and the pressure from the machine will cause that toner to heat back up on the page and it'll become tacky. The pressure will push the foil into that toner on the page and then it'll slowly come out the other side. Then the best part is when you can peel that piece of foil away from your design and you'll see the foil will only stick to wherever your toner printed design was. And then you're left with the foil negative that you can reuse for other projects. So that is foiling in a nutshell. All right, so those are the basics of foiling. Stay tuned for the next video in this series because we're gonna go over a project from start to finish using some of the fun designs that Auntie Tay has created for her members specifically for foiling, which is so super exciting. That was a lot of S's, sorry. There's another one. <laughs> My Canadian is showing. <laughs> now, if you aren't already, make sure you're subscribed to Auntie Tay's YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the rest of this series as well as her other fun videos. And if you'd like to become a foiled friend, the link to my YouTube channel will be down in the description box below. Again, my name is Haley from The Foiled Plan. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope you have a super awesome day. That's all I'm gonna say. Bye.